Yes. Welcome back, students. So we have uh, already done uh, defects in solids, introduction to defects in solids, and I also covered a topic called impurity defect. Now, the type of defect which I'm going to teach you is stoichiometric defect. Stoichiometric defect. Right. When I say stoichiometric defect, yes. So, what, what is this? What is the meaning of this word means? Stoichiometry means equal, right? Both the cation and the anion, both are missing from the lattice side. Stoichio means equal ratio, right? So, when I speak about stoichiometric defect, this is again divided into short key S H O T T double T K Y. Remember, it is double T K Y short key defect and it is also named studied under Frenkel defect. Yes, Frenkel defect, right? Short key defect and Frenkel defect. Apart from this, I also have <coughs> interstitial defect, interstitial defect, and it is also studied under a defect called vacancy defect, right? So again, I'm mentioning it. Stoichiometry means equal ratio of the cation and the anion missing from the lattice side. Fine. When I speak about short key defect or Frenkel defect, I have to remember two important things, right? What actually are the conditions and what actually are the consequences? What happens? If I find short key defect in a solid, uh, what are the conditions? Like, on uh, what conditions is it showing short key? If something is some solid is showing me Frankel defect, on what conditions is it showing Frankel defect? Let us write. So, when I speak about short key defect, understand? Let me write the heading or subheading as conditions, right? So, uh, in this particular uh, short key defect, the first important condition: what type of solid show short key? I already told you so a concept called radius ratio r plus by r minus you remember ratio of the cation by anion right if the radius of the cation and the radius of the anion is of almost equal or almost approximately equal to one such compounds will show short key defect remember that right and uh, if here it's like you know frankel defect radius of the ratio and radius of the anion and the cation and the anion if it is not equal to one like means the difference because we very well know the cation is smaller than anion so if it is not i'm just equating this that's it just uh, to make you all memorize for the exam here if it is almost approximately the size of the cation and the anion is approximately equal to one here cation is smaller and anion is larger in size such compounds suppose and i can also tell you one more condition the if i speak about radius ratio there's one more thing called coordination number we have studied right in solids what is coordination number the number of nearest neighbors right if one atom how many ever are touching that particular atom that is called the coordination number suppose if i have elements or if i have uh, salts or crystals like uh, crystalline solids if the coordination number is almost higher than six right or if they say coordination number six right coordination number six if the coordination number is eight right uh, then I can say like for example what is the coordination number of NaCl mm, tell me coordination number of NaCl is octa right six <laughs> if I say NaCl if I say eight cesium chloride has a coordination number of eight such compounds show short key defect both the size of the cation and the size of the anion is same if i speak about this let me take this as one if i speak about frankel defect here the radius ratio is less than six that is almost four or something best example if i speak zinc sulfide zinc sulfide has uh, it will show us frankel defect because the coordination number is four in this further if i take some more examples remember this this is the question which board has asked you agbr here also agbr here you have silver iodide right he all these have coordination numbers less than that remember there was one question asked which is the element or which is the crystal which shows both short key defect and frankel defect right that is agbr i'll be doing a question later in this video why does agbr show both short key and frankel defect so remember this you can become any two examples not a problem so agbr is one compound which shows both short key defect and frankel defect so these are the two important conditions which you should remember for an a crystal to show short key and frankel defect let us see the consequences and how should i write in the exam
yes so now we have already written the conditions now let us write the consequences now what are the consequences what happens when schottky and frenkel defect exists or when it arises in sodium chloride crystal or silver bromide crystal suppose in schottky defect i took an example of nacl here i took an example of let us say uh, zinc sulfide not a problem yes now see here in short k defect the cation is na plus and the anion is cl minus isn't it in <coughs> in frankel defect the cation is zn plus 2 and s minus 2 sulfide right now when i see the lattice structure of this now observe we have your na plus cation surrounded by cl minus anion again your na plus cation surrounded by cl minus anion this is your cation there should be an anion below this is your anion there should be a cation below <coughs> don't go with the sizes it's vague actually cl minus now cl minus you have again a cation see that you have a cation anion cation anion alternate now here again here you have cl so you have an alternate na plus ion here you have na plus you have an alternate cl minus ion cl minus you have an alternate na plus ion here you have na plus yes cl minus ion right now observe carefully now in frankel defect so now i'm going to pick up or i'm going to assume that this is whole or it is composed of an nacl crystal nacl has fcc lattice right fine so this nacl crystal now during short key defect when suppose when there is some disturbance or some defect arising in this observe carefully what am i doing one cation and <coughs> pick up one more anion escapes out from the lattice side okay one cation and one anion right both have been displaced so what has missed out from here observe carefully one cation and one anion have skipped out both so because of this is electrical neutrality maintained yes because both have balanced right that is the reason they call stoichiometry cation and anion have missed out so missed out right so because of this what happens electrical neutrality is maintained electrical neutrality is maintained because both cation and anion have skipped out now let us see frankel defect so short key let me remember one cation one anion missed out or escaped from this lattice point all these are lattice points isn't it now when i speak about frankel defect now i took up uh, zinc uh, sulfide <coughs> crystal so when i speak about now i have uh, i just like this i'm writing in this way zn plus 2 One, your S minus two. So again, Z n plus two and your S minus two. Z n plus two surrounded by S minus two. S minus two surrounded by Z n plus two. Z n plus two surrounded by S minus two. S minus two surrounded by Z n plus two. I am writing one more layer so that it's clear for us. Yes. Now. so this whole thing again it's a crystal or it is an uh, sodium zinc sulfide crystal now i said uh, zinc sulfide now in frankel defect observe carefully here what happened one cation and one anion balance one they have escaped from the lattice points but here there is movement of only cation so what should i write now you just see what am i erasing cation escapes where does it go and occupy from the from this particular point this cation goes and occupies the lattice sites so this zinc goes and occupies the lattice sites this zn plus 2 occupies the lattice sites so what is missing i i have written one cation and one anion missing here you will write only cation escapes where does it escape it escapes into the lattice sites only one cation escapes out so you when one cation escapes out here there is one vacant space which is created like this only one cation right but just tell me is there any uh, <coughs> Uh, difference in neutrality of that thing no it is only cation which is escaping isn't it it is not moving out of the solid it is just occupying the space in between so electrical neutrality electrical electrical neutrality is maintained isn't it electrical neutrality is maintained fine so uh, nothing because cation is just in the interstitial side here short key 
cation anion is missing in frankel only cation is missing it is occupying this because it is in the interstitial site not a problem with electrical neutrality please note this then we'll come back and see what happens or what are the consequences or because of this short chain frankel defect Yes. So you have written this. Now let us see uh, what happens. What are the consequences of short key and Frankel defect? Because of I already told you cation and anion missed out. Here cation only missed out. Now when I speak about short key defect, so short key, <laughs> short key defect and Frankel defect. Right? In short key defect and Frankel defect, let me see the consequences. I already told cation has missed out, anion also has missed out. There only cation is missed out. But remember, <coughs> because of this short key defect, what are the consequences? Consequences. First important thing is, yes, because there is displacement or completely missing of the cation and anion, density of the crystal density decreases remember that if the question is asked why is the density why does density decrease in short key defect you must say because of the missing of one cation and one anion from the lattice point here there is no concept right it is only cation which has skipped out it has it has gone to the interstitial side so you will write density remains same right this is very nice now after that now ma'am density has decreased what will happen to the solid we very well know when certain amount of when certain density is reduced there is distortion happening right density is equal to mass by volume there is certain amount of distortion or disturbance which is created in the solid so now when i say density decreases what should i write now there is some dislocation or distortion distortion means disturbance distortion occurs in the solid right here you are this is one no here no uh, no distortion observed because it is only like you know no, no distortion observed because it is only it is in the lattice site right now because of this distortion what is going to happen this solid starts conducting current because you have vacant space isn't it yes so shows electrical conductivity right here when i say it shows electrical conductivity but very minute very less you know less or low or um, less or okay, low ele electrical conductivity electrical conductivity conductivity because it is only the movement of cation into the interstitial space so it shows electrical conductivity this is no electrical conductivity as i very well said electrical neutrality is maintained in both but you have to speak in terms of density so uh, apart from this short key and uh, frankel uh, defect and uh, i also told you conditions i explained you consequences i told you examples but remember one question what is asked right in short key and Frankel defect, what is the common example which we have picked up? Yes, what is the example? Silver bromide. Let us write the question. Question uh, is why does silver bromide show both short key and Frankel defect? Yes, let us write this Frankel defect. Now, so what did uh, we uh, we uh, understand from the previous lesson in short key also there is cation missing out in frankel also there is cation missing out but remember when you when such question is asked you should have an idea of the radius ratios right suppose if i speak about silver bromide right this is your question now in silver bromide basically the radius ratio r plus and r minus is 0.71 okay that means the ratio of the silver and the ratio of the bromide is 0.71 now we very well know i think in one of my pre videos i told you uh, there's a standard uh, format uh, for knowing or having a radius ratio please go through the video that will be very useful for such questions i very well told you if the radius ratio value is like you know 0.225 to 0.441 
right and if it is greater than 0.441 if it is between 2 to 5 to 441 we call it as tetrahedral the arrangement is we call it as tetrahedral if it is greater than 441 we call it as octahedral now where is this uh, lying where is this lying now it is lying in octahedral arrangement because it is 0.71 now what happens is <clears throat> in your short key defect now yeah, have you all understood the concept let me explain again they are asking us why is it showing both short key and frank basically whenever you take an ionic compound we'll speak in terms of radius ratios so the ratio of the size of this cation anion is 0 0.71 but i have a standard table this is your standard table which explains the radius ratios which i've already given but our agbr is lying in this right greater than 0 0.4 that is 0 0.7 now what happens is in your short key defect and your <laughs> Frankel defect short key so I should write double T K Y and your Frankel defect now we very well know in short key defect there is movement of cation right and anion also in Frankel there is movement of cation now what happens when this AGBR is showing short key defect understand carefully when AGBR is showing short key defect this particular I told you this is lying in this particular crystal structure right slowly from the octahedral sides from the octahedral voids it moves because it is separated right AG BR breaks up into <coughs> AG plus plus BR minus so now this crystal has distorted right it means it is broken into cation anion this AG plus from the octahedral side why did I say octahedral because the radius ratio is 0.71 from the octahedral side it moves into the tetrahedral side slowly from that uh, crystal lattice point it moves to the interstitial side once it moves in the interstitial side because now the radius has gone down it has broken down and gradually it goes into the tetrahedral side and it starts precipitating out right so what should I write in short key from so shall I write it write the reason here yes so you will write from octahedral site octahedral site it moves to moves to tetrahedral void or a tetrahedral voids tetrahedral voids and precipitates out and precipitates out now what happens in frankel defect frankel defect also it is the same thing right it's just movement of the cation because of the very smaller size just moves out that is the reason there also it shows short key defect here also it showed frankel defect so when this question is asked just right now this is for your short key defect i'm writing double t always that's wrong in this short key defect and in Frankel defect movement of movement of small sized cation that is the reason okay. how should I write in the exam understand just write two sentences silver bromide radius ratio is uh, 0.71 we very well know radius ratio is this and this done in case of short key defect we very we will we will know one cation and anion is missing but what will happen to that cation that cation from this side it goes into this octahedral tetrahedral side because now once it goes into the tetrahedral side <laughs> immediately it starts precipitating out with the opposite ion so this precipitate out that that is the same but in Frankel also we very well know the cation moves away from the means one of the cation moves up escapes from that lattice point right so both the conditions if you observe this and this both are same that is the reason silver bromide shows both short key defect and Frankel effect thank you for watching